Hello, nerds! Oh, thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in nerddom music edition for the week of February 9th, 2018. This week in music, it's going to be quick. Actually, all of our episodes are going to be quick because uh, I'm trying to get them up and at least up for the patrons before I head out to New Orleans on Thursday so that I can just focus on adventures in photography while I'm in New Orleans. So, also, we're not going to have a week in nerddom next week again because I'm going to be in New Orleans over the weekend and into next week. So, there will be at least one new adventure in photography episode. Hopefully, this will give me the time to get all my interviews uh, that I have just piling up uh, edited, so check out all of that stuff, and now let's talk about the music news. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Auberginois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we get into any news though, nerds, we have to get into this week's sponsor. This week's videos are sponsored by the Photographer Shirt. In theme with our New Orleans trip and the Adventures in Photography episode or episodes, depending on how much footage I get while we're down there, the sponsor shirt is going to be the photographer. Kind of makes sense. I mean, if we're pushing Adventures in Photography, why not push the photographer shirt? The only place you can get this photographer shirt is over at teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. That is the place to get your photographer shirt teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy so go check it out or just check out the website you can find the link up there generally nerdy.net now let's hit up all of that news right around the corner first things first for music we have prophets of rage have put out a new song uh, this is on this is going to be on the new record that they're currently working on uh, their first official record came out last year to mixed review or mixed reception i guess the reviews were pretty good but it's because most reviewers don't know what's good for them um this song is continuing with that mediocrity i it's called hearts of fire you can find a link to the video in the description or the the song itself rather not it's not really a video it's just kind of a heart moving um eh, this is just so bleh. There's no, it's not, it's not sonically interesting, there's no interesting dynamics to it, there's just, it's, it sounds kind of just a mediocre rap tune. With, like, you have Chuck D and, and, uh, what's his name from Cypress Hill, why can't I think of, Be Real from Cypress Hill, as your primary vocalist, and it just comes across as a mediocre rap tune it doesn't even sound anything like rage did at one point there is no the production is so shiny on this you can't hear the guitars through all of the rest of the noise it's just it is i you can watch or you listen to it following the link in the description if you want but i'm gonna save you some time and some earache don't waste your time it's not worth the listen even the free listen it's just bad just oh man this is what the remnants of rage have put out and maybe zach is the missing element maybe zach is absolutely necessary to make rage uh the listenable band i just oh we're gonna move on following that up though with some great music Another band that we talk about on the show pretty frequently recently, it seems, is Unearth, and they just put out a new song. The new song is called Incinerate, and you can, again, link in the description so you can go listen to it as well. Uh, this is this is what Metalcore strives to be. This is, it's not, I mean, there there even is pieces of it that step outside of that box. So this is even better than what Metalcore strives to be. This is 
metalcore heavyweights coming in and showing all of the wannabes exactly what this should sound like and exactly how to play with the form. Uh, the, there's a middle section in there where you get some really interesting sweep arpeggios uh, that are just beautiful. And the whole way through, you get, you get classic unearth all the way through, even underneath those sweep ar arpeggios you still get the crushing insanity of Unearth, uh, as crushing as Metalcore can be, I guess, is probably an appropriate thing to add to the end of that. But this, this, is, this, is, this is fantastic. Their new record they are working on right now that this song is off of is called Extinctions, and it will be out this fall. No specific release date just yet, but you can guarantee we are going to be keeping our ears open as more songs come out and as more information comes out. We will be talking about it right here on Generally Nerdy, but Extinctions will be out this fall on Century Media. They've been on Century Media for a minute. Uh, they left Metal Blade, Metal Blade like three or four albums ago, so uh, I just, I, I'm super stoked about a new Unearth record. I can't even tell you. Next on the list, we have another new track, and actually the album released already, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. The, the Devil Driver Outlaws to the End. Last time we talked about this, for whatever reason, the name of the record escaped me because I didn't add it in my notes because I was like, I'll remember it when I'm filming, and I didn't. So, I wrote it down this time, just to be safe. Outlaws Till the End, Volume 1, debuted on the charts at number 8. That's right, a heavy metal record. It kind of has country bits to it, obviously, because it's they're covering country tunes. But it is through and through a heavy metal record. Is on is in the top 10 in this day and age in America. That is something to note. That's incredible. Uh, the new track, which is, which is what the link is down in the description, the new track is, uh, the Copperhead Road, which was originally done by Steve Earle, and this, this isn't one of the standout tracks, I feel like. Uh, th it, it was recorded with Brock Ludlow, who is the vocalist from 36 Crazy Fist, those crazy Alaska dudes, um... So that's really interesting because Brock and Dez's vocals are a really interesting compliment. That's probably the most standout thing about this song is the combination of those two vocals. Otherwise, this kind of sounds like, and this isn't a knock at all because we talk about Leo a lot. This kind of sounds like something that Leo Moracchioli would put out over on Frog Leap Studios uh, on YouTube. Not, bad, not a bad thing, but definitely not what you would expect from Devil Driver. So, I mean, take with that what you will, but that's all we got about that. Our last bit this week has to do with uh, some 90s techno. For those of you that don't know, Underworld is more than just a movie. It is a 90s techno group that is, by and large, one of the best and greatest things to ever make great groups i guess to ever make electronic music these guys are brilliant they are putting out a new record apparently uh they revisited their 94 the the record that they put out in like 94 which had cowgirl on it mm, skyscraper a bunch of tunes that you probably actually know if you grew up in the 90s but you don't know who they're by because they're just that good, they're infectious, that everyone wants to use them, but nobody really cares to see, no, no one in the, in the population, rather, really cares to see who makes that music. They just, it's just perfect for whatever element it's being used for, and, and so it, their music is well known. Uh, the biggest thing that you would know them from would be the Hackers movie. They had, I believe, two tunes on that soundtrack. Um, Cowgirl and mm, Skyscraper, actually, I think, are the two. <laughs> but, yeah, so they're putting out a new record. It's actually just an EP that they teamed up with Hold Your Breath, because this is weird. Iggy freaking pop. Oh, they put out the first track off of the record. The record itself is going to be called Tea Time Dub Encounters. Uh, it's, it's an EP, so probably something like seven songs. They didn't get, there's no uh, track listing officially just yet, but we do know that the record that they, or the uh, song that they just released, 
which is called Get Your Shirt, is the last track on the record. So, uh, it's... I, the rest of the tunes, I'm, I'm, I'm chomping at the bit to listen to. This is how you do electronic music. There are three standout examples of electronic music, and they all started in the 80s, <clears throat> or in the 90s, I guess technically in the 80s, would be uh, These Guys Underworld, would uh, Daft Punk, and VNV Nation are three of the best examples of what to do if you are if you are looking to get into electronic music. Uh, and this song does not disappoint. This is exactly what you would expect out of Under Underworld. Keep wanting to say Under Oath because we usually talk about heavy stuff and this isn't that. So pardon me if I ha keep slipping on the name Underworld. So, the track is like seven minutes and... 20 seconds or so you can find a link to the video in the description the video is a bizarre it's it's an art piece effectively a, a kind of a ballet art piece a, 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 a movement of some sort and the song this is exactly what you want out of your EDM it's catchy and easy to listen to but it's not boring Yes, there is monotony in there, but the monotony builds and there's dynamics and it's sonically interesting and it gets stuck in your head. And these things are not necessarily mutually exclusive as evidenced by these guys in Underworld. So go check that out. The record comes out July 27th. So July 27th is the time to get the rest of the songs from this strange mashup of artists and that is everything we have for music this week guys what did i miss i know there's a lot i also let me address this real quick dimebag uh not dimebag vinnie paul dimebag affected me greatly probably more than vinnie actually but vinnie the reason we're not talking about his death is because it's just the, kind of the reason, the same reason we didn't talk about Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain to a much more extreme degree, but just, it's, I can't put into words the effect that it had. And that's saying, I feel like that's saying something in and of itself because generally speaking, uh, celebrity deaths don't affect me. There have been a very small few in my lifetime that have affected me, and this was one of them. So we're not going to talk about it. It's that's a sad day in the metal world, and other people have said it much more eloquently than I could ever pretend to. So that's why we are not talking about Vinnie Paul's death. But our hearts go out to Vinnie Paul. Look forward to all of the amazing tributes that are bound to happen now for. Uh, Pantera and stuff. There's actually Phil Anselmo just did one on stage in like Sweden or something. So yeah, it's gonna be great. Vinnie Paul will be missed though. And uh, yeah, now we're going to end this week's music episode. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. <sighs> what did I forget? What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in those comments below. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, there is a website, generallynerdy.net. You see it right here on my shirt. You've been staring at it this whole episode, and you didn't even know it. See? Getting subliminal on you. Over on generallynerdy.net, though, there is all the freebies, all the blog posts, the links to the social media, the links to the stores, so you can go get your very own nerdy swag. Or you can jump over to the Patreon if you want to support the channel more directly. Patreon.com slash generallynerdy. That is the place. A dollar a month gets you in. There are higher tiers if you want to support more. Uh, more then you get more stuff back from the Patreon account. So go over to Patreon.com slash generallynerdy to check out all of that. Oh, if you are new to the channel, this is always such a mouthful. If you're new to the channel... Click the subscribe button, ring that bell so that you get the notifications because sub subscriptions really aren't as big as they once were on YouTube. You've heard a million people say it at this point, so I'm going to keep saying it. But click that subscribe button. If you like the episode, click the like button. If you're falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But... Before we go, oh, and we're not vlogging the news this week just because it was easier to do the setup and run through it real quick. So, 
Before we go, before we worry about all of the buttons and things and websites, guys, always, always remember that if it is generally nerdy, it's probably here.